and welcome to Gamer's Table, a discussion of tabletop role-playing games, war games, movies, books, and other related topics. Be warned, this show may contain some explicit material that may not be suitable for all audiences. Hello and welcome to Gamer's Table. My name is Eric. This is Mike. This is Dan. This is Mark. This is Jason. And I'm Sean. This episode we're going to talk about names. Not our names. Not names. our names, but names. Naming conventions. Naming conventions. Naming your characters. Coming up with good names is yes, hard. it's rough. Well, Naming conventions, you mean like NameCon? No. <laughs> no. I'm sure there is one. There probably is one. NameCon 2012. We need to trademark that. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. We should totally make some NameCon t-shirts just to see. Hey, did you name, go to NameCon last year? NameCon you, veteran. You could sniff out the hipsters. Oh, I yeah. went two years ago. Yeah. Right. You know. make, make like a I was there at, the, at the NameCon 1. <laughs> make, make a vintage NameCon 1982 shirt. Yes. <laughs> Be great. <laughs> get, wow. get, yeah, we could totally do that. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. We need our own silkscreen press uh, for all of our wonderful well, ideas. J- Jason is our resident MacGyver. I'm sure he could build us one. I don't no, know. He, I've looked into it. He's he's our resident MacGruber. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably more accurate. Yeah. Yes. yes, names uh, for characters. I think that the name is probably the most important part of the character generation process. Interestingly enough, it's usually the last thing yes. that you do. You always put it off. Oh, you, yeah. You end up making your character, then you struggle for how in the hell am I going to come up with a name for this guy? And that's how you end up with names that really don't fit the characters. But there's those instances where you find that perfect name, and it solidifies the character, and then all of a sudden, that's a character you end up talking about years later. Hmm. Yeah. And it's because the, the, the name brings it all together. It's it's the package. It's like, just like your name. Your name is who you are. Usually, yeah. if I put too much thought into a name, though, then that character ends up dead soon. Well, it's usually <laughs> obvious that you're, you don't put a lot of thought into that. Well, that's why, that's why, you, that's why you don't name But that's what I'm horses. saying. The ones I don't put a lot of thought into become my favorite characters. Well, it doesn't matter how cool a name you come up with. There's always going to be a way to screw the name that someone's come up well, with. Well, that, that's just something that we do, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. That's because we're hummus. assholes. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, hummus, that's a good one. That. Uh, Scott came up with a name that uh, was impronounceable. It was Holver. Yeah, it was, it was oh, Holver. Well, but it was, I, I guess it was just a name yeah. we didn't care much about. Right. I, just, I, just, I couldn't remember it. No one could remember the name. Ah. Uh, and Jason started calling him Hummus, and <laughs> and, and then I started calling him Hummus. And, and, I, and I, I didn't call him Hummus to make fun of him. I I said it because that was the, the only word that I could think of. The only H word that came to your mind, <laughs> and it was not even remotely close. But to well, it. the funny thing about that was we called him Hummus like three times in a row, and he just reached down, erased his name, and changed it to Hummus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because he saw he saw the way the wind was blowing. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, you can give your character a name, but other people give your characters nicknames. That's that's really true. You try and give yourself a nickname and it never it don't works. Stick. No, you uh, can't give yourself a nickname. There was a, there's a law about that. Yeah, there's like a the, the recent episode of Big Bang Theory where Howard was he's get, getting ready to go up into space and he's working with NASA and he's trying to come up with a really cool nickname to call himself right. and he's trying to lead the astronauts on into calling him this really you like know, his cool handle, like his Maverick. cool handle and they're like what do you eat and he goes Fruit Loops he goes all right Fruit Loop oh. and that became his his handle <laughs> <laughs> wow. your name is Flounder right exactly right. exactly <laughs> why Flounder why not, why not? <laughs> nicknames are, are uh, that's that's a good one because you can choose your own name for a game but choosing your own nickname no one's going to use it. It's inversely proportional to how cool your real name is is how bad your nickname is. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot at work. There's a, a, Some of the ladies at work are talking about their family members or people that they know, you know, the mutual friends and things like that, and they're like, do you know Stanky? And I'm like, how many Stankies do you know? You know, how many, you right. know? I went to Boy Scouts with a kid named Stanky, but that was actually his name. <laughs> I know, I, I know the, uh, the Martha's Vineyard Stankies, not the, uh, right. the Hampton Stankies. The Hampton Stankies. Mm-hmm. And right. somehow we have gotten completely off track right from the get go. Yeah, we're talking about names. Yeah, sure. nicknames. Name. Nicknames. But well, okay, well, I'll bring it, I'll, yeah, I'll bring it back around to one of the things that I always thought was most difficult, and that is MMO names, because there's so oh, many yeah. people playing. and Get on the game early, early. and yeah. get your name, because once we, it's taken... We all have the same ideas of kind of what's cool or what's bad, and there's only so many words out there, and if you're going to use actual words. Yeah, like, right. I mean, that's I'm a, Tom1286. Right. That's how I ended up with a City of Heroes character named Platinum Blonde, because I was just thinking of names, and then I had to make a character to fit it. Mm-hmm. That's how my, when I, back when I was playing TFC, I had to come up with a, with a, with a handle that I wasn't going to be, you know, like Atreides 1286. You know? Mark 5. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> 
So uh, mm. I came up with the name Eustroth, which is a totally made up word. It, it right. doesn't it exist to. in any language that I'm aware of. You have to Lucas it. Right. Yep. But then nobody could pronounce it. And, <laughs> and the really the really cool thing about that is, because this kind of goes along the same lines of coming up with a like a username for a, for a message board or a website. If your name is unique enough, you can Google that word and find stuff that you've posted. There's something that I posted one time on a... Or you could be a man and just post as your real name. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think my name is that uncommon. My full name, it really isn't that uncommon. It's, you could... I mean, I've, I've Googled my name, and there's some guy who's like a softball coach, women's softball coach at a college, and there's another guy that's obsessed with Tara Lipinski. Interesting. <clears throat> as, you know, people are. Sure. <laughs> uh, Who the hell's Tara Lipinski? The skater. Uh, the figure, figure skater. skater. Okay. Got it. Oh. All right. But, you know, there was something I posted on a uh, Star Wars message board about my idea for a live-action Star Wars TV show. You go back to that message board, and you're looking for it, and you're trying to you know, use their search feature, and it's a pain in the butt trying to find stuff like that. I, I tried to remember what name I, what name I used to post it under, and I typed a line that I thought I could remember that I'd used, and I found it like it was the first hit. What Jason was really doing is he was trying to relive some of his greatest trolling events. <laughs> no, yeah. not at all. Biggest highlights. <laughs> I was trolled for that. Act. I remember, I don't play a lot of MMOs, but I do remember, especially like City of Heroes, where I would come up with a character idea and work out the character, and I'm like, oh yeah, this name would work out perfectly, and somebody already took oh, it. They inevitably. Yeah. And then I'm like, what else fits what I just did? Now I've got to try and backtrack, rather than go with the name first. And, and then you end up with that. a name like Barney Sniffle. You know, because there's just nothing else. And you're like, oh, and then you got to play that character. It's right. hard making superhero names just to begin with. Yeah, right. Right. Sorry. Well, unique ones. In anyway. City of Heroes, my character names were derived from Marilyn Manson songs. I never had a problem. I don't think I could. That, that may Marilyn speak Manson to Marilyn. Yeah, I was going to say that may speak to Marilyn Manson popularity <laughs> anymore. Or. Marilyn Manson fans non-use of MMOs. Uh, no, yes. It could be that, too. It was funny. I was playing the game, and I, one of the characters that was named Misery Machine after one of the first songs from an early album. and Sounds like a villain to me. Well, maybe. But it was before City of Villains. Ah. But... Uh, <laughs> But anyway, so I'm standing there, and a guy comes up to me, and just, you know, they, how they do, they just kind of stand there, and my, my name was Misery Machine, and he says, oh, Scooby fan, huh? And I said, no, Marilyn, Marilyn Manson, and he ran away. Well, that's probably, that's probably a good reaction. Oh. Weirdo. <laughs> it was, that was probably his, like, Screw first you. interaction as, a, as an MMO player. It, 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 was, it was like, he's this nervous guy in real life, and it was like... First thing out, I said something stupid. <laughs> Ran off. Or he was six. <laughs> or he was six. <laughs> Other naming conventions. One of my uh, favorite naming convention is Deuces. Yes. Mm. That, uh, he uses, the, he uses mm-hmm. that for MMOs and for regular gaming. What is Deuces convention? Canned meat products. Just meat products. Meat yes. products yeah. is, it, is it canned meat products? I think it's pretty much all meat products. Meat or products. just food. Like Can- Slim Jim, Hormel. Right? You had a guy yeah. named Slim Jim? Yes. Yeah. Slim really? Well, I mean, yeah. Hormel. How could you not have? Well, I, I remember like Hormel. If treat. processed bad meat is your thing, how can you not have Slim Jim as your name? Really good. Yeah. Slim Jim sounds like a Shadowrun character. Or, Hormel, and, Hormel and Treat were the only ones I remember. Yeah, but that, Jack Robinson. Yeah, in that, it, in that yeah, era. And yeah, he. That's that was his thing. And when you find something like that, now that we're airing all of this, people are going to do it. And he'll never find another oh. name again. <laughs> steal it, thunder. I don't think anybody's going to steal yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Oscar Meyer. It's a great name. <laughs> no. Right. Who else has a naming system? Who's that? Our friend Greg. Greg does? Yeah, he Shadow did Run. for a while. Oh, yeah. He was naming his characters after the the way that the last character died. Yep. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Only uh, Greg can do that because yes. he has yes. such a high death rate. When his, <laughs> uh, when his one character was killed by uh, because all of the ammunition on him, he caught on fire. I think it was a, f- a fire spell. Yeah. And he, he, he incinerated himself and so all of his ammo went up. All of his ammo, his grenades... It all went up and just completely destroyed him. He took way more damage from him, his own gear that he ever did from that fire spell. Right. And he named himself Cook-Off. For his, his, <laughs> next, his next character. Was like, <laughs> you find little things like that and, and yeah, yeah, that, that's you know, a fun way of doing things. But, you know, when, what about serious naming? When you're coming up with like a, it's a serious game. It's a, you know, you're playing D&D. You want it to be a serious game. You don't want it to be a joke. You want your guy to have cred right out of the gate. Right. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. I'm, I, there are very few characters whose names I actually remember because mo- a lot of your character names are ridiculous <laughs> that's so they can't be ridiculed he starts off yeah that's right you start you know you had uh, rick the enchanter 
Rick the Warlock. Oh, I'm sorry. Not an Rick, enchanter. That's right. You Rick. called him Rick the Enchanter. Rick, Rick just, the Warlock. It who, flows off your tongue way better. Rick the Enchanter. Tim the enchanter. <laughs> Rick the Warlock who wore buckles on his shoes. He did not wear buckles on his shoes. <laughs> I believe his full title was Rick the Immaculate Jimmy. That's true. I think it, it was. was. You're right. It was Rick the Immaculate Jimmy. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, correct. Uh, Mark the, has two modes. Ridiculous or no-nonsense hard ass. Yes. <laughs> that's that's, that's yes. two gears. Only if they're Irish. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Potentially <laughs> Irish. Right. There was uh, there was the uh, one uh, female character you played, uh, female named Carl. Yes, I that was that was based on a line from uh, Dead Man on Campus. <laughs> This, wow! Uh, yeah, they, they had the insane roommate for a while. I was like, I know this hooker named Carl. She's beautiful, man. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> no. Dead man on campus. I love that movie. <laughs> I always thought that, that was uh, that was James Vanderbeek, wasn't it? Uh, or was it? Who was in that movie? Dead no, it was uh, it was, was uh, Saved by the Bell. It was what's his name? Oh, that's right. It was John Paul Gosling or Zach whatever. Morris. Zach Morris. It was Zach, Zach Morris. Morris. Zach Morris. Whoever his real name is. <laughs> He's Zach Morris. He just changed. His I, I think name. it was Mark Paul Gosling. Yeah. Mark Paul Gosling. That's right. Yeah. So but God, the, you should not have known that. There's, but see, there's a perfect <laughs> example. His real name sucks. It, right. It really does. You know, well, Zach Morris is a much better Zach name. Zach Morris is like uh, what's the uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Michael Fassbender. Tell me that's not like the greatest awesome name ever. If you were a, a race car driver, yes. 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 No, or for just an awesome guy. Yeah. His name's Fassbender. Come on. I don't know. Dick Trickle's great racer. <laughs> <laughs> it was Cole Trickle was yeah. the guy from was, uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah, but he's talking about, no, he's he's talking about, about a real person. There's a real oh. racer. Yes, wow. there's a real yeah. guy named Dick See, I don't pay any attention yeah. to NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR. Days of Thunder was the last time I watched any NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. And that was years ago. No, the guy's real name, Dick Trickle. It's awesome. Wow. Well done. <laughs> His dad hated him. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, okay, so... W- when you're talking about names and how people come up with them, I think there's a couple of examples that we should probably bring up. Brian used to come up with some pretty interesting ways to name characters. He would always name his characters after movie characters and things like or that. Or actors. Yeah. Or actors, right. yes. Like you, like I think we mentioned it before, he actually had a character named... Kevin Costner. Kevin right? Costner. Yes. <laughs> Errol Flynn. No, it was Errol Flynn. That's Errol right. Flynn. It was he, Errol Flynn. He was fond of swashbucklers, so a lot of his, a lot of his characters and that then, were swashbucklers had swashbuckler names. And I was thinking about this today. I remember Sean Jason always talks about your brother and how he would always name his character Norman. 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 Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. few times that Kip did play with us, no matter what game it was we were playing, it was always Norman. Maybe he secretly wished his name was Norman. And that's how he was, he was working it out. I just think Kip thought that was just simple Norman. Just yeah. Well, and, and that's his like, John Doe. I, like, I was thinking about that today and it made me laugh because I'm thinking at the time you're like, oh man, will you name him something else but Norman? Yeah. But now it's like no one could ever use that right. name ever again because no. that you would immediately associate it with Kip and right. there's no way that you, anybody would use that name. Sure. Yeah. And it's kind of funny because that name has become kind of a cool thing, you know, and that's kind of something about names of characters or just names in general that you start to think about things that maybe they were that at the time they weren't cool, but then they kind of grow on you. I think that's a nostalgia factor. Well, sure it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, I think uh, you used to have a name that you were fond of, Philip. Yeah, right. I Phillip's used to, a good name for a cat. I don't I know about that. a character. Phillip's a good name for my Nazi uncle. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I used let's, to name- let's out your uncle. <laughs> He's not going to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Nazi. Okay. Yeah, I used the name Philip quite a bit for NPCs and things like that. Right. I never used it as a PC character, though, hmm. and that I recall. It, it just dawned on me how, how we put all of this effort into naming characters. And it was like super easy to name my son. He's going to have to live with this his whole life. And right. like, I didn't put nearly the effort into. You that. seriously didn't think about it? Did I? No, I mean you. Well, I know when when because, Jay and I, well, were naming- I I stopped. I stopped really trying. I mean, granted, the name we picked was the name that I. I did come up with, but everything was just being V-code, so I just stopped. <laughs> oh, well, see, Jenny and I, Jenny and I, I had wanted to name, if and when we had a son, I wanted to name him Corey. And our plan was that after our first child, if the first child was not a boy, you know, we were going to do like an alliteration. Like my wife and I share the same first initial. So we were going to do an alliteration with our kids' names, too, so that they would all begin with AC. And uh, so after our first child was born... We came up with a name for our daughter. We na- came up with a name that had a C. So then our son was born. We named him Corey. And then our third child, we named her uh, with a C name. But not, not the C sound. word. No, no. With, with a, <laughs> did I say C word? No. You okay. Didn't. No, that would be we terrible. Named, we named our daughter C word. That, that would be oh. terrible and illegal in France. <laughs> but anyway, I remember when we named, all, you know, when we were coming up with names, I remember thinking to myself, okay, now 
how are kids going to make fun of her name? That, now, how that are was, they? Yeah, that was one of our criteria because yeah. uh, you know I've always had I have a nicknaming name. Right. My name is Daniel. Everybody's always called me Dan or right. Danny or right. you know or whatever. And I was like, right. well, I would really like to try to prevent that. So right. that's why we ended up all the names that I picked yeah. were all names that couldn't really be nicknamed. Right. Yeah, that's what uh, my parents was uh, my dad. 